we are proud to announce the release of Raven 4.0 for the PreSonus DAW Studio One. Let me show you a few of the amazing features when using Raven specifically with Studio One. We would like to introduce the brand new Raven Classic console, which was designed from the ground up to provide an analog style mixing experience. Adjust all the faders in the session and switch between 16 and 32 faders on the MTI Max or 24 faders on the MTI 2 and MTZ. Swipe solos and mutes and even skip under the desired tracks. Control the pan knobs with multi-touch for quickly panning background vocals or stereo tracks. Switch to sends mode to adjust the send level for any tracks and use multi-touch to send multiple tracks to a reverb, delay, or parallel bus at the same time. Finally, an amazing feature of the Raven Classic console is the fader groups. Press Show Vocals to show all the vocal tracks and make adjustments. Then hit Show Drums to access all the drum tracks in the project. To make locating tracks easier, the Raven External Mixer has the ability to add custom track icons right below the fader. Just choose the icon and swipe in the box to add the icons to the desired tracks. Now anytime a track is created with that name, the icon will automatically be added. This saves so much time when mixing on large sessions. The Raven Sends Mixer gives users access to 24 multi-touch sends with quick access to create headphone mixes or send the desired tracks right to the reverb and delays without needing to use the mouse. Bind fader mode. This mode quadruples the fader resolution and allows users to move their fingers a great distance while confining the actual fader range to tenth of a dB increments. If users prefer to work in the edit window of the DAW, Raven 4.0 has included the Studio Mixer, making it easy to have multi touch faders in the edit window open simultaneously. Users can zoom the session access the single fader to adjust the level of the desired track, or press the toggle buttons on the side of the Studio Mixer to change between 8, 16, and 24 faders. The brand new Studio Mixer in Raven 4.0 provides access to the most important features in the DAW. Users can control the transport, access memory locations, and use the top eight batch commands. The jog wheel functions can increase and decrease the size of the audio tracks in the edit window, and with a push and hold, we'll switch into nav pad mode, for XY control of the zoom functions, and users can switch between shuttle, scrub, or waveform view to increase the size of the waveforms in the session. With the batch command panel, users can adjust the event volume, crop and mute events, and even zoom in and out of the session. Raven 4.0 has all new SVG graphics, which allow users to resize the studio mixer to save screen real estate. Studio One does offer an option to allow multi-touch faders, plugins, and panning through Twio protocol. Simply change the gesture settings in the UPDD Commander application and set Studio One to only receive Twio touch data. Now, the Raven can control the faders and PreSonus plugins in Studio One with multi-touch. Please note, enabling this option will limit the available gesture mappings, so if users are editing and looking for fast workflow, this option may not be preferable. To add a plugin, I can just tap the Insert Assignment area and select the plugin. You don't have to turn any generic logic controller knobs or map out any plugin parameters. Users can just load the plugin and tweak the actual controls as if they were hardware. The mouse and keyboard are a great tool for editing audio but once users add in multi-touch gestures, it becomes way more powerful. With continuous gestures, users can pinch or expand their fingers to zoom in or out on the audio, or with a three-finger swipe, resize the tracks in the same direction. Do a four-finger pinch to group the tracks, and a five-finger double tap to add them into the folder. Finally, do a five-finger splay to open and close the folder track. For easy touch access to smaller objects in the DAW, hold the command modifier and do a three-finger double tap to open the smart tool. Make an adjustment and another three-finger double tap to close it. 
Select the section of audio and delete the clips with a three finger rotate left. Add in fades with a four finger double tap and then duplicate the clips with a three finger rotate right. Select an event and do a four finger tap to mute the audio events. Do a five finger rotate left or right to send a continuous key command gesture that changes the event volume. When drawing in volume automation, your finger becomes the pencil tool. It is now so quick and convenient to draw on the desired changes. After drawing in the automation, you just can copy and paste it to more tracks with a three finger pinch and expand gestures. One of the most powerful features of the Raven software is the batch command system. The batch command system is your new virtual assistant and can execute up to 1,000 key commands, mouse clicks, menu selections, and MIDI messages, all from a single button. Here are some batch commands for creating track presets. This batch command will create a new track called Lead Vocal and then add in all the previously saved plugins, routing, and effect sends to that track. Here is another batch command for adding background vocal tracks that are also enclosed in a folder track with the same name and all the desired plugin and effects chains. Here is a batch command for creating drum track presets. Raven will create eight tracks called drums, add them to a folder track, and load all the desired plugins to the tracks. This last batch command will create four guitar tracks called guitar with the desired plugins inside a folder track. Batch commands also make comping vocals really easy. Press the Show Layers batch command to show all the takes, then make a selection and hit the Solo and Play batch command to go to the next track and start the transport. Press the batch command again to audition the next layer, and once the desired take is selected, press the Move to Main batch command to add it to the main playlist layer. Select another section of song and audition all those takes, and move the desired layer to the main track. Each time these buttons are pressed, the user saves three key commands and doesn't need to constantly reach for the keyboard and mouse. Users can also select the comping tool and just swipe the tracks to add them to the main take as well. Batch commands make tedious tasks really easy. The plugin preset batch commands remove the need to search the list for all your favorite go-to plugins. Select the track and then use the add VMR batch command to add mix rack plugin to the selected track. Then press the add FG gray to add that compressor plugin to the next insert. Finally, hit the add trigger batch command to add trigger to the next insert. Raven 4.0 comes with a brand new batch command editor and layout categories to make managing batch commands and workflow much easier. Using the batch command editor features, users can create and design their own console layout by just dragging and dropping the entire batch command panel to the batch command toolbar, and even resize the panel to two, four, six, or eight buttons. Then simply drag and drop single batch commands from other toolbars to the newly created panel. With the new batch command toolbar and category browser, Switching layouts is super easy and organized depending on the desired workflow needed for the current task. With the new Raven 4.0 pop-out tools, users have access to a multitude of Raven functions in a single consolidated toolbar. This new toolbar is filled with powerful touch tools designed and mapped specifically for your DAW to enhance speed and workflow without the need to reach for the mouse and keyboard. The Raven toolbars have all the most popular DAW functions assigned to quick buttons. The undo and redo buttons make it easy to step back a few steps. Using the jog wheel, users can quickly navigate through sessions by scrolling the wheel or switching to navpad mode to gain XY control for zooming tracks. Each swipe on the navpad can replace the need to hit 10 key commands on the keyboard. The cursor pop-out tool is useful for navigating and selecting between tracks and audio regions. The marker tool can be used to jump between the intro, chorus, and bridge with a simple tap. The DAW tool pop-up window gives users access to all the popular tools in Studio One, like the arrow, range, split, and pencil tool. Raven 4.0 has also included the pop-out edit tools window to make editing even easier. Here, users can break audio events or select multiple tracks and add them into a folder, then toggle the folder open and closed with another button. Next, users can group tracks and ungroup tracks, 
copy and paste audio events with more buttons, and finally duplicate the events with another button. The Raven toolbar also has buttons for quick zooming, and showing and hiding plugins is really quick with the Hide Shell Plugins button. The Raven software also comes with the Slate Remote. This iOS app allows users to automatically synchronize their batch commands to their iPhone or iPad. The remote can be great for stepping to the back of the room and gaining perspective of the mix while still gaining control of the transport and DAW features. This is great for engineers who are recording their own music in a separate area than the workstation.